Hello again, Doug here from X-Frames FPV, and today we've got a completed build for you. This is the Martian 2 that we did a review and a component spec video on this, but now this is the completed item. This is going to be going out to Texas today, and I would imagine it will be flying by this weekend if I know my customer. <laughs> um, some of the components, we'll hit over them real quick. These are the DYS SE2205s great motors lots of power especially in this 2550 kv motor um, lots of punch out plenty of top end very happy with them uh, the next is the dys xs 30 amp escs these are the bl heli s man i cannot say enough good about these things guys um, i did this basically exact build two months ago for a customer except for use the standard XM30s because these weren't available at the time. And the difference in the amount of P that I can tune into this with the S, BL Heli S is, is pretty astounding. And it, it makes it super snappy and, and um, I just cannot say enough good things about it. Uh, matter of fact, the customer that this is going to, he has quite a few of my builds. And he's going to be sending them back one at a time for me to replace and, and put these new BL Heli S ESCs in because he likes the best of the best and, and that's what these are. Um, camera, 2.5 lens, standard 650 TVL, nothing um, really different there or uh, anything of note there. Um, one thing that I did change from the spec video is I was put going to put an F3 in there and this really is an F3 but it's actually it's an F303 which is an F3 without all the um, additional hardware on there and it reduces weight and just makes for a cleaner build so um, I think this is probably going to be one that's going to end up on my build from now on because it's just real simple no reason to have all that extra stuff on there that people just don't use in, in racing formats. Um, as I talked to before, I do pin all of, all of these that go to customers and I leave the wires a little long. And the reason I do that is because um, you don't know what's gonna happen down the road with the customer. They may try, uh, decide to go to a different frame, a larger frame, and so they need the, the longer ESC wires. Um, and they may fry a flight controller and so I can um, pin up a new one and ship that out to them. So that's why I do that and it's worked out really well. Um, on my own builds, obviously I, I hardwire everything in, but um, this is going to a customer. So um, one of the other, get over here, you can see a little bit better. I talked about in the other video how I mount my VTX and you can see it there right on top of the, um, X4R FR Sky receiver and this works out really well it's nice and out of the way um, plenty of slack on the the pigtail there and then I just zip tie um, the pigtail and then I also zip tie the antenna on so that there's no issues if this gets grabbed it's going to pull the antenna out or it's going to pull the end off the antenna rather than ripping the whole thing out and that's that's quite a bit more costly uh, this is how I run all my wires, um, run them out the back, and it's a very simple and clean way to do it. But that's it. Like I said, she's going to be going out to Texas today, and um, and I have no doubt by this weekend she will be full of grass and all sorts of uh, dirt, and I love it when my customers send back uh, maybe for a repair or something after they've crashed and they are just filled or just covered with all sorts of dirt and because it shows me they've been flying it and that's what they're for so that's it and again if you have any questions or comments please feel free to ask i i do my best to answer any questions really quickly and i've been in this industry for for many years and um and relied on people to help me in the beginning and so i'm glad to do that for you um if you like these videos, because I am new, please subscribe and comment, and I appreciate your time. Thank you so much.